perform with. And then you're, tr you're stuck trying to make plays with this Lux, who's very, fairly fragile as well. Okay, That's fighting it. over level two, the flash forward as Kerry is going for it with the Q of his own. That's going to be a trade. His first blood is given over to the Ezreal. Gumi Yusi able to trade one back as our supports, they were ready to fight. Oh, a punish on Faker. They don't know where he is, and he might get caught off guard or as uh -oh. he goes to ward. <laughs> well, that's not the brush you wanted to check here, as uh, Baker's just going to die. Had no vision there. They had a ward. Close the gap here. No flash for Caria. Gen no mid prio. Yeah, they already have this pretty low as we stand, and they're going up against an Ornn. Let's see if T1 can do anything as the uh, Ornhorn will come through as a big knockup now from Doran on the top side, but you can see the rest of Gen T just going to leave Doran to die. They say, nope, we're not going to be able to. choice that T1 decided to make, you know, yeah. as instead they are going to try to highlight this top side as here comes the paranoia. It's three on one and Doran does not have any hope as Baker will eat a lot of those turret shots. It's That's so hard for the Ornn as well to actually find the second activation on the ultimate. And Peanut, he gets uh, the play. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's really Hexic aggressive. Ultimatum is available now, and yeah. Peanut, yeah, you're not going to be able to ult out of this one. Don't believe that Karma will help either against this much lockdown. We just saw these three in the top side, and they do it again. About what happens as soon as these turrets start to fall? When the map starts to open up, that's where I get more worried. Oh, okay. who's diving who now? Zeus went a bit far, thinking he had Owner on the backup of the gank as Flash comes in. And yes. a Camille and a Rise behind him. And has to be so careful, they're grouping up to check. Okay, they see Zeus and they're looking for the turn to flash in onto Faker and he will be rooted down and taken down as well. But T1 say that's okay, we'll take the Drake. Zeus though also going to be taken down here. So Gen G pick up a couple of kills, but T1 do get the Drake. The one thing for T1 that, that is important to still keep in mind is that this comp punishes uh -oh, over extension. Here we go. This is the side lane play that we expect, and stopwatch is good, but it ain't that good. That's going to be the kill given over. Three damage through T1 will actually spill into the other side. Now they've got to be wary of the Zayas flank once again. All right, setting up uh, another kind of wall here. We got traps coming out from Gumiusi, and you do not want to get headshot by this Caitlyn right now. As Zeus over the wall, they're looking for Toby. He doesn't have his stopwatch anymore, but the damage from the backside of Gen.T is gigantic. They're able to take down both of the divers on the side of T1, but that is going to be the dragon going the way of T1. So a crazy fight, but T1 get another in you know, With T1 having this ward here, it's so valuable. They know exactly where to run. Realm Warp is available for Faker. We've seen those in some LCK finals recently. Oh here we go. <laughs> is, are they going to contest? I think they have to. Are they just going to Realm Warp into this one? I don't know. That's We've seen that for two as, okay, they're going to go on the backside here. They want to take a fight. That's immediately a headshot from Guma. That's gonna be one kill. Gen Z get the Baron, but they get nothing else as T1 are on the chase. Faker leading the charge. He's gonna get that bounce onto both of them, and at least Toby will go down as they are looking for more. A triple kill now for Guma, and that is going to be the ace into the hands. And you are not gonna have Plyo. They denied any sort of idea. That is they a they're running. incredibly fast bear. I don't know what that guy's on, but Zeus is not getting away as, okay, he's trading back actually, <laughs> trying to get the kill onto Lahan, sent to Flash, but not What's available, two of them, but Okay. Coming down, Guma and Faker for are joining. I don't think they can get here. Yeah, they're not going to get here on time, but Peanut. Peanut's here on time. Peanut, can he steal it? No, he cannot, but he does have a stopwatch trying to turn this one around. Caria takes so much not of the aggro down. here. The Chaos Storm, the Ornhorn, and he's still alive. There's the one Guardian Angel going down, and Guma, he's still alive. Look at how much damage he does at this point in time. The chunking is unbelievable. That's going to be the end of Ruler and the end of Gen Z on this I don't think so. T1 are marching down the red carpet to victory here. Nods on the side of the T1 players as they call the push to end. T1, so decisive on the punish plays this game. You give them an inch, they will take a mile. They were so far behind in the early part of the mid game, but they turned this one around so fast. Unbelievable. T1 just like that. Doesn't matter what the game state is, as they used to say, hey, here's a kill. But we will get the kill on Tier Nexus and take game number one here.